in this presentation, we will look at Memorial Health System and their incorporation of Internet of Things into their organization. The goals of this project is to incorporate the Internet of Things into Memorial Health System, thus improving outcomes, increase in patient safety, and increase in patient satisfaction. The objectives for this project are build an understanding of IoT throughout the healthcare system, provide real-time treatment and monitoring of patients, reduce administrative burdens, and enforce strict cybersecurity measures. The first thing that we need to do is take a look at Memorial Health System and a system overview. Memorial Health System is a nonprofit healthcare system that provides services in a major metropolitan area. Memorial Health System consists of five hospitals. General Hospital, which is their main hospital. It is a level one trauma center with just over 1,000 beds. There is also a children's hospital that has over 300 beds that specializes in pediatric care. On top of those, there are three community hospitals in the outlying communities, each with about 100 beds each. And then there are multiple outpatient clinics scattered throughout the community that offer a wide variety of healthcare services. For this project, it is also important that we understand what is the Internet of Things. The Internet of Things is communication between a variety of devices that are all connected to a network. Pretty much, it's a bunch of devices that are able to talk and communicate with one another. There are numerous applications for IoT in the healthcare setting, such as vital sign monitoring, fetal heart tone monitoring, ECG telemetry, as well as telemedicine are all commonly seen today. Wearable devices are becoming more common and as technology evolves, we'll be seeing more and more in the healthcare setting. Technology is only getting better and as that improves, it's going to become more common to see these smaller wearable devices in the healthcare field. The IoT system that is being proposed to Memorial Health System is an enterprise-wide patient monitoring system that will encompass all areas of the hospital. It contains portable wireless monitors that are sleek and user-friendly as well as comfortable for their patients to wear. Connectivity allows for real-time monitoring and alerting of critical events. If the device picks up any signs outside of set parameters, it will alert nursing staff immediately. The system tracks and monitors patients from check-in to check-out and it offers at-home monitoring for continuing monitoring after discharge. Device can be sent home with a patient and that device will continue to monitor and transmit data back to their healthcare provider. And it offers central monitoring stations. From these stations, nursing staff can monitor multiple patients from one location. There are some risks and uh, cybersecurity concerns that come along with implementing a IoT system. These risks can impact patient safety, security of protected health information or proprietary information within the organization. It can also impact internal operations of the healthcare system, such as operational downtime. When these systems are incorporated into healthcare, these systems are relied upon heavily, and when they go down, they're definitely going to have an impact on workflows, productivity of the hospital. Incorporating an IoT system does open MHS up to potential cyber attacks. Uh, presence of PHI in a healthcare setting is prime uh, is a prime target for cyber criminals wanting to gain access to that information. Uh, also, have to be concerned about ransomware attacks. Ransomware attacks is when files and data is hijacked and encrypted, and the organization has to pay ransom in order to potentially get uh, access back to their files. With all that being said, the proposed EPMS system was designed with cybersecurity in mind and to protect not only the patient, but the healthcare system from these risks just mentioned. There are several advantages and disadvantages of the proposed EPMS system. Some of the advantages include continuous patient monitoring. These devices will stay with and on the patient throughout the duration of their stay, providing that continuous patient monitoring. Another advantage is capability of monitoring multiple patients simultaneously. With this system, fewer nurses are able to monitor 
a greater number of patients throughout the floor. Another advantage is, is it can simpl simplify the treatment process. Being able to capture live, accurate data and document that can help simplify this treatment process. There are, are also some disadvantages that come with the proposed system. It will disrupt current workflows and will, will require training throughout the healthcare system. The system can greatly change the way staff performs their daily duties and can take a while to get adjusted to the new system, as well as it will require on hands-on training for the staff to be familiar with and proficient with the new system. Another disadvantage is, is it increases the risk of cyber attacks with any that come along with any implementation of IoT, uh, which will mean that the there will be a greater need for an increase in cybersecurity throughout the hospital. And the final disadvantage is a lack of in integration with current or future IoT implementation. Depending on manufacturers, a lot of these devices have difficulty connecting and communicating with each other and may require a lot of work on the back end to make this possible. Another important factor to consider is the cost of IoT. The initial investment of any large IoT system, including this proposed EPMS system, is going to be high. Often, implementation cost is more than $20 million. That money is going to be spent on networking, installation fees, data storage, internet security, technical support. is can be extremely expensive investing in IoT. However, the, this system allows for higher quality of care and the streamlining of many processes allows hospitals to save money in making the investment worth the expensive price tag. With the proposed EPMS system, there are also ethical and legal considerations. From the patient's point of view, aspects of IoT may be seen as an invasion of privacy. It's intrusive and constant from the moment they walk in the door, they are monitored. They have this device on them and they're constantly monitored and they may feel it's an invasion of their privacy, not getting any time alone. From a caregiver perspective, uh, there could be an over-reliance on the IoT system. Uh, this could lead to less time spent with patients. Whenever you're able to remotely monitor a patient, you're not going to be entering the room as much and you can over rely on that and lose that personalized care, that personalized time with your patients and decrease the quality of care and decrease patient satisfaction because they're not getting that personalized care that they should be. Another issue to consider is ensuring compliance with HIPAA standards. Again, implementation of an IoT system can open yourself up to cyber attacks and it's important that you take cybersecurity serious and ensure that everything is HIPAA compliant during the implementation process. The implementation of the EPMS system or any IoT system should greatly increase the user experience. From a caregiver's perspective, it should improve the quality of care with being able to record live, accurate data. It should also streamline the workflow for the nursing staff. After the adjustment period, their job, the system should make their job easier. It should also improve data collection with being able to record live, accurate data and having that data transmitted to wherever it needs to go. It also can help reduce hospital stays, having the capabilities to send patients home with wearable devices and continuing the monitoring process at the house allows for shorter hospital stays. From a patient's perspective, patients will get a better patient experience knowing that they have somebody constantly monitoring them uh, increases the patient experience. 
more freedom of movement from the patient. These devices are portable and wearable, so they're able to get up and are not confined to a bed throughout their entire stay at a hospital. It's also more information available to make informed decisions about their care. Having all of this data available to be able to look back to and help guide their treatment decisions is extremely beneficial for their patients. After examining the risk and benefits of the EPMS system, it is clear this system can help differentiate MHS from other healthcare organizations in the area. With this system, MHS patients will receive quality care with the most technologically advanced monitoring system on the market today. Caregivers will experience less fatigue with a centralized monitoring system and make their overall workflow easy. The patient and provider will have a better overall experience with the incorporation of the EPMS system.